I am going to explore Wilson H. Fox Park. The sun is shining, and that's a great thing. I'm headed south to visit with the gentleman that repaired Little Red, and I needed a waypoint stop. And I love Granger Lake, and so I am going to explore Wilson H. Fox Park. Been here once before. I didn't do a little red ride through it, a virtual tour. I did a drive through. Now I'm staying here. We're right by the dam. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get over there today. So let's get on the little red scooter. Go check out this fantastic Corps of Engineer campground. There should be a Corps of Engineer sign. We're going to be riding into the wind for some of this. And there's not a single thing I can do about that other than try to get that part over with as quick as possible. The Wilson H. Fox campground is located on Granger Lake, which is an impound on the Leon River. I don't even know if you can hear me with all the wind. We are running straight into the wind. They currently do not have any gate staff working. So if you're coming out here, you've got to pay on, do your business online. Which is fine with me, because that's how I do all my reservations. Granger Lake is a great crappie lake when the wind is not blowing. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to run down to the day use area first and then we'll come back to visit the camping loop. There are three campground loops. There's your dump station conveniently located on the way out. So there are three points of interest in this park. The first one, I guess it's four. The swim beach day use area. The group shelter area. Two boat ramps and a fishing dock. Of course, we won't be able to see the fishing dock on this video. You'll have to go to uh, this past Sunday's experiential video. You got to hike down some stairs to get to it. So windy. There are there's a lot of deer in this park. Believe it or not, I've got red wide open. We're just running into that wind as about as fast as we can go. 
but on the other side of that same coin when we depart this area we're going to be flying with the wind at our back So we'll visit the <coughs> day use shelter and group area first. Come back to the beach. If you're new to my virtual tours, when we get over to the RV camping loops, I'll go the opposite direction of the street sign so that you get a good look at the campsites. All of these are day use pavilions. Which is really, a, it's nice to have that kind of shelter for day use. And here on the left is the group pavilion. Now we'll run down here to the boat ramp. into the sun this is a little bit later in the day than I normally do my videos but it took me a while to get here so there's your boat ramp for my boat ramp fans and you can't really see it in the camera but we're looking at the dam that straight line is the dam This is, I guess, kind of a swim area. They've got parking right here, but I, I, I'm not exactly sure if that's intended to be part of the beach or what. We're headed over there, but there's not any way to get a little red from here to there. So we're going to go around. Got to go around. We'll take another shortcut on the way out of here, though. Going back into the wind. There's some deer back down in these brush here. At least there was earlier when I came through here. This 
is the official beach. It's not a sandy beach, it's a gravel beach. myself a little more aerodynamic for your sake. Suck it in the gut, turn sideways. They're still back in there too. Unfortunately you're not going to be able to see them. They're, they're quite a ways back. All right, let's go to another boat ramp. For my boat ramp fan. So this campground is a little bit off the beaten path, a little too far out to build. <laughs> a convenient waypoint. But it can definitely be a, you know, if you're traveling from up north going down to the Gulf Coast, you might want to come pay a visit. Spend a night or two. And hope that the wind is not blowing. We're going to cheat a little bit. Where did I come through? Hold on. It's right here. Water in the ditch. boat ramp for my boat ramp fans. And way over there you can see the fishing platform. Alright. That's the best look you're going to get at the fishing dock. The parking area is not impressive, but we'll go over there anyway. We might see some wildlife. That's 
about all there is to see right there. So now we have three RV camping loops to visit. One thing I was really happy to see is that the RV camping loops are gated. Uh, granted, it's not going to keep somebody from walking in or riding a bike in, as you can see, but gives you some sense of security. They have a lot of double sights out here. And what that really means is it costs you twice as much, but you can put two RVs in it. They have some shelters. They're basically just enclosed pavilions. But heck, they got bunks in it, a little kitchen. You can go over to my experiential video from this past Sunday and see that. I'm getting a little bit hoarse. All that wind coming out of West Texas carrying the dust. Alright, now we're going to scoot on over to the smallest loop and save the, the loop I'm on for last. What high wind really drained the battery. are nice sights over here. I like that one. Oh, that's rough. Rough road. A really rough road.
Alright, one more to go. Pardon me. Oh, <laughs> snug up on you. All right, and that brings us to the end of our virtual tour of the Wilson H. Fox Campground. Oh, wait a minute. And those are always so much fun. I sure appreciate you coming along with me for the ride. And here's the campsite in case you're wondering. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. That's why I'm out here. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?